Hairstyle? How did Isabella describe his hair? Uh, I think number one is, uh... I think it's number one. Widow speak, yeah? Uh... A bony look. Uh, should I s research how bony look, uh, what bony look, uh, means? Uh... Hmm, that doesn't seem right. So, I uh, did I actually pick the... Uh, the right one? Five. That def- <laughs> I'll go, I'll go with, uh, with, uh, my original choice. For now. Uh, we'll see. Uh, scan database. Now searching? The Alpha 1 network will be searched for possible matches. No matches located. Maybe the montage is all wrong. Let's carefully think about the description we got and try again. Mmm. I give him this. Maybe I was wrong with the uh... Try number five. No matches. Uh, hmm. Threatening eyes. I think the uh, I picked the uh, the right eyes. Nose. I think the nose is right. The mouth. Let's try number two. Looks really weird. Would it be number two? Would it speak? It pro it would probably be this one. Uh, what if I go then to the to the original math that I picked? No matches located, hmm. Maybe the facial shape is wrong. So... Is it number three? Possible match located. Alright, we did it. Good work, Gillian. Two possible matches from montage photograph located. 
Possibility number one. Probability of match, 70%. Oh shit. Ivan Rodriguez. Damn, uh, both Russian and uh, a Paisano? Air surfer, uh, air surfer amateur, 27 years old. Address. 522 South uh, Itayado, SN District. Caution. Non-Municipal Data Administration District. Well, does that mean that he's like uh, living the, the guy? He lives in the the streets. Probability number two. Uh, probability of match: 65 percent. Displaying data. Freddie Nielsen, I think it's gonna be this guy. Taxi driver, no company affiliation, 29 years old. Uh, address? A dormitory, uh, Okamato apartment, number uh, 202, 378, Nyo Okamato. MR district, family, wife, uh, wife Lisa, age 25. God damn. Now printing montage photograph. Gillian, the montage has been printed. Now we're in business. It's a temple uh, two-shaped dimensional rendering of Jordan's three-dimensional data, but it should prove useful anyway. Well, we've got uh, their addresses. Shall we pay uh, these gentlemen a visit? Maybe we should try and confirm which one is it from... From Isabella first? One of these men is no doubt the Snatcher who called John. <gasps> Are we sure about that? You've almost got him now. Let's go investigate the suspects. Uh, can I check uh, on them? On the, uh... The montage photo. Uh, that's a composite 2D photograph assembled from Jordan's 3D data. Yeah, uh, wouldn't it be better if we... Uh, if we went back to Isabella? Yeah, you know what? Yeah, let, let me try and head back to Isabella. Let me try and head back to Isabella. Hey, have a nice day. Uh, you're uh, you stopped talking uh, for a uh, for a moment there. Why is that? Are you uh, looking at uh, some sort of a guide online on how to play the game? You're looking on a walkthrough while playing this game. The answer is no. I don't play uh, uh, the new games. Oh shit, we got their apartment. Ivan's apartment and Freddy's apartment. I think we're gonna go to. I think Freddy is the one that we need want to get. But I'm going to. Uh, I'm gonna go try and check on Isabella before anything else. Uh, w what I'm doing, like, uh, after every, like, five or ten minutes, viewers, I try to stay silent because uh, this is gonna help me with, uh, wh where I cut and edit stuff, especially for these, uh, uh, games. I learned my lesson with some games where I wanna cut out, uh, like a single, like a section. I don't want it to be, uh, I don't want, usually I don't want my videos to be more than 50 minutes, and, uh, I don't want them to be less than 25 minutes. Uh, I think uh, 25, uh, 25 and 50, uh, between 25 and 50 is the uh, the magic number. I think if I go ab uh, above 50, I cannot only go above 50 unless uh, I need to, or I need to compile a, little, like a, a single section that probably is better to be experienced uh, at uh, one time. So, yeah, that's the reason why I stay silent for a few seconds, just to, just to create... Uh, <laughs> a like a like a time where I, I can I can actually cut out uh, the footage without uh, you know without having to be uh, uh, you know without uh, getting into a, a lot of complications there. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna try and head to what well, I um, I exited. Well, since I actually exited. Uh, might as well try and uh, talk to uh, whatchamacallher. 
uh, Isabella. She was called Stella or something, right? Maybe that's her real name. Isabella. It was 396004, yeah. Thanks for calling me. I'm so happy. Alright, so I guess we're probably gonna have to do that later. I'm gonna try and remember and, and uh, dial that number until we <laughs> get something interesting. Yeah, let's get the hell out of here. Let's get the hell out of here and try and... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try and go to Isabella and see if she is uh, uh, going to give... Uh, just confirm. Uh, the looks. Maybe we don't. We don't need to uh, to go to the one that we. Uh, maybe uh, she's gonna point uh, point us out. Uh, point us uh, to which one is. But we only printed uh, the three D module. So I wonder if how that's gonna work. Yeah, we only. Like we only printed the montage. We didn't actually print the, the both of them. I wonder if that's actually gonna work. Like, is that gonna help us in any way? Probably not. Uh, like, after I actually realize this, I don't think that's gonna help us at all. Alrighty, viewers. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, confirm from Isabella. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to wear the mask again. Catchy, uh, too. Gotta be honest. I get all... Uh, son of a bitch! You're a goddamn uh, a chain uh, sneezer? You're just like me. Double The double sneezies? Oh, well, well you got me with the quadruple. The quadruple uh, booger attack. Well, thanks for that. Thanks uh, for all these so nines. Table for one, please. Damn. So we're so uh, stupid ass uh, middle is not gonna sit on a chair. Call Isabella. Hey, Isabella, over here! Everyone, everyone is gonna look at me. <laughs> it's freaky as shit. Oh, you two again. What can I do for you? A mommy and a robot? I mean, did you forget about me already? Uh, let's, let's go ahead and show her uh, this. Hmm, I think that's what he looked like. That's it? Yeah, um... Yeah, I figured that we uh, kind of missed up. <laughs> like we kind of wasted the. Uh, like I thought uh, the uh, image that we printed, it's gonna be the the image of, of both of them. So uh, that's uh, that's not gonna be that helpful for me, sadly. Alrighty, viewers, I'm gonna take this opportunity to read. Uh, some few entries before uh, we move on. I think I'm, um, we're about to actually finish all of this, so... Let's go ahead and read uh, a few before we move on. Um, uh, Purse Pet. Genetically engineered uh, marsupialus, which function as uh, pets or handbags. What? What? We're going to go full Paris... Helton? <laughs> it's we're not gonna put uh, uh, dogs in our bags. We're gonna make uh, the bags our dogs. <laughs> Their added value of being able to carry around uh, personal belongings led to a huge boom in these animals in the early 2040s. Originally designed for a television commercial, their subsequent widespread media exposure touch off huge sales. Several firms became involved in a copyright dispute over the animal's design. 
Oh, they're not actually not real animals, though. <laughs> I thought that they're gonna actually go. Uh, they're gonna be real animals. They're gonna be like uh, similar of uh, how, uh, you know, uh, uh, do androids uh, dream of electric sheep? Uh, how they handle these uh, genetic, uh, the uh, b the uh, what did they call them? They call them something. Uh, the fake animals. That they, uh, that they were there. I forgot what they called them that, uh, in, in the book. Uh, firms became involved in a copyright dispute over the animal's design, but their popularity win waned when the Society for the uh, Preservation of Cruelty to Animals complained of the slave-like treatment many owners gave their living luggage. Oh, shit. <laughs> so it's, it is. It is. They're actually a real living uh, goddamn uh, some a bitch. The real things, huh? God damn. That's, yeah, that's kind of cruel, actually. Holy. Holy. Neo K Kobe Pizza. My pizza! A popular food item said to have been born by accident when a Japanese student accidentally dropped his pizza in someone's soup. What? The floating shape apparently uh, reminded him of the island of Neo Kobe in the, in the sea. Hence the name. I wonder if uh, there was some sort of uh, a foreshadowing, by the way. Because I think Gillian said something about... Uh, uh, it sank just like uh, how the city is gonna sink or something like that. I think he, that was some sort of a foreshadowing of future events, so uh, I don't know. <laughs> the scores of different varieties are available by combining different uh, topping and soups. Neo Kobe Pizza is beginning to gain popularity internationally as well. Maybe I should try it out. <laughs> Maybe I should try out uh, Neo Kobe Pizza. Ugh, imagine if you're gonna dip uh, um, uh, a pineapple pizza in a fucking soup. There's a way that you're gonna ruin two meals with one ingredient. Holy hell. Blech. 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 Retinal uh, fortune telling. What the? <laughs> Retinal fortune, ten uh, fortune telling? That's uh, that's interesting. A high tech form of uh, uh, divination which uh, uh, which uh, pur 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 purports uh, to read a person's uh, future from the pattern of blood vessels uh, on the retina of the eye. Yeah, of course. Don't read uh, the uh, the coffee signs or the coffee mug. Uh, uh, what do they call it? The end of a uh, coffee? Uh, this, uh, the coffee stains? Don't read the coffee stains. We're gonna just read your, uh, your eye stains. Like fingerprints and voice prints, this art... <laughs> <laughs> Double quotation gains its popularity from the fact that all individuals' patterns are unique, like palm reading. Yeah, it's a scam. It's not real. It's just for fun. Air surfing. Yeah, this is gonna be the last entry. A sport which is enjoying uh, a tremendous uh, recent popularity among young people. When conventional uh, surfing became uh, impossible due to a heavy uh, contamin contamination of the sea around the city, a local university's air sciences uh, department developed the new board and do a wave generator. God damn. That sounds kind of costly. With just a uh, moderate uh, protective gear aboard and the airwave generator, anyone can enjoy the sport. Popularity has been centered among young people of the slum districts. Interesting. As winds and uh, weather have no effect on use, com uh, co uh, competitions and tournaments have been held year-round in cities throughout the, the country. Alright. So, people... Uh, Competing in that uh, strange sport. All right, viewers. Now let's go ahead and continue with the with the main game. Thanks. I think uh, what you've told uh, us may help us uh, help us a bit. Okay. See you. I try to call you, by the way. I try to call you. 
There was a girl named Stella or something. Okay, that's 500 exactly. Thank you. Going home? Not really. I know, no. There, it's off. I don't think it's gonna be Ivan, so I'm gonna try and check him out first. I gotta be honest. Freddy, we're gonna... We might actually need to check both of them. All right, now heading to Ivan Rodriguez's apartment. Ivan Rodriguez. Una me, una more. Me, I'm gonna drink uh, the vodka. We've arrived at Ivan Rodriguez's apartment. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm... <laughs> I'm st I'm, pro I'm profiling. I'm trying to profile someone that's uh, have both uh, uh, Spanish and well, probably even Mexican and uh, Irish background. Sounds pretty cool. But he has blue hair, I think. So, oh shit, we're in the wrong neighborhood. Goddamn. This is Ivan Rodriguez's neighborhood. According to the data in Jordan, this should be his neighborhood. Ugh. This place is a real slum. Uh, district data retrieval networks haven't uh, been installed in this area. And such, there is uh, virtually no da data on the area in the Alpha 1 network. This region is almost completely isolated. Even though I can see a... A cop car there. Unless that's my car. Hey, nobody steal my car, please. Alright, let's go ahead and look around. Look at the building. I wonder if anybody is actually living in this area. What do you mean, you wonder? Pretty sure that there are people here. Yeah, this uh, part of the city looks like the nicest... Uh, nicest place in, uh, in San Diego. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, nah, nah. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Apparently, it's just missing the needles uh, and the uh, bags full of shit. There's no there's no sign that there has uh, been any maintenance work in some time. It's been completely neglected. That sucks. The place is utterly filthy. There are a few, uh, freemen here. Freemen? Freemen? What are they? Gordon Freeman? One of the focal points of the Neocobi North-South problem. Uh... I think we are at the North, right? Alright, what are Freeman? Their actual lifestyle is not unlike that of the homeless. See, they are uh, gathered around a fire. How are they different from the homeless? Unlike the less fortunate, these people have chosen to live like this. Often uh, leaving, good, leaving good jobs to do so. It appears to be a form of rebellion towards the over-control of information by central authorities. Goddamn. Here you go, that's uh, some Kojima writing right, he right here. They're one of the new Kobe's biggest problems. So they're just, uh, you know, new gypsies. <laughs> they're gypsies. Maybe they know something. Why don't we ask them? We're gonna ask uh, them, they're... gonna put a hex on us. Put a new hex on us. Their actual lifestyle is not unlike uh, that of the homeless. Open fire. Oh, <laughs> we're gonna shoot them. Shoot the gypsies. God damn, this game is racist. They appear to be burning something in an empty barrel. Well, it gets pretty cold at night uh, this time of the year. 
<laughs> Tell that to Isabella. <laughs> Try and tell that to Isabella. I just hope they don't uh, inadvertently uh, start a bigger fire. Why would you think that, though? Search for Ivan. Now, let's just investigate. Building. There appear to be some uh, modifications uh, to the structure. It is in uh, violation of building codes. It appears safe. The construction is still around. It is still sound. Under these uh, conditions, it is impossible to maintain accurate data on who is living where. Damn, it's gonna be a big problem. A bigger problem trying to find uh, that uh, Ivan guy. Uh, this area is an uh, unofficially rec uh, this is this area is an officially recognized slum. It is outside of the municipal data administration districts. You don't appear to have uh, any problem with illegal parking. More like illegal abandonment. Illegal abandonment? Many people apparently still live in there, and most seem uh, reluctant to move on. I'll investigate the Freeman. What, you actually want me to investigate him? That's right. Please, Gillian, be reasonable. What are you gonna do? You're not gonna shove your... I don't know. Are you gonna shove something up his ass or something? Check it out real careful, uh, okay? Ah, this reeks! Hey, what do you think you're doing? There's nothing suspicious here. Just filth and grime. And the kind of tough uh, grease that no ordinary ho household cleaners can touch. That's why uh, new melt it. That's why new melt it. With hydrochloric action can ha uh, can handle all the heavy jobs. Is that like a uh, product placement? Gillen, your stupid attempts at humor are more irritating than funny. I, I don't get that joke. Melt it because... Uh, maybe that was supposed to be like some sort of a product place, a placement in the original game. Eh? Something stinks. Yeah, it sure does. It's you, Metal. It's you. You don't appear to have anything. Ugh. Well, factory sensors uh, are uh, nearing overload. <laughs> Damn, they must be uh, Smash uh, players. Ugh. Oh, so th is that it? They're not gypsies, they're uh, Smash players? And that's not a fire, that's uh, a... <laughs> that's a... Uh, a CRT? A CRT screen here? Playing Smash? Filthy Smash players. Be careful, hazardous smoke is uh, also being emitted by the fire. That's because they probably uh, burn anything they uh, find around here. The uh, and find uh, they find around here. These abandoned cars are probably next. Now nah, they're just playing. Uh, they're just playing Smash. That's why uh, it's hazardous there. There appear to be several uh, hypodermic needles among the ashes. Oh, goddamn, so yeah, we're in uh, San Francisco. Or San Diego. What the? What? Drugs even in neighborhoods uh, this poor? I mean... That's, uh, that goes without saying. Of course you're gonna find drugs in... in poor, in poorer sections. That's, that's the reason why they're the, uh, <laughs> the way that they are. I read traces of liquid sky. It's an illegal uh, stimulant. Yeah, we know about liquid sky. We know about liquid sky. They'll probably keep the fire going all day long.
Search for Ivan? We're not gonna do that uh, right now. We're gonna do that later. Uh, ask about Ivan. Hey, you guys! What? I need to talk to you. Yeah? <laughs> Could you tell me anything you uh, know about a man named Ivan Rodriguez? Was there anybody named that around here? You lied to me and you live to regret it. Now, now, call him yourself. I'm trying to remember. Well, I'm trying to remember. As in, uh, you know. For la fuerte. For la fuerte. Oh, drugs? Or he, he wants drugs. Well, can you recall anything? Not yet. Can you recall anything? Not yet. <laughs> I wonder if I'm gonna get uh, the answer if I go about it more and more. About Gibson. Who's that? Well, maybe I can show them the uh, pictures. I don't know. I have trouble with my own uh, name these days. Well, this guy really needs uh, help. <laughs> trouble with my name. That's funny. That's, uh, that's very funny. Ask about Snatchers. Uh, I'm gonna assume that this is where sna they're gonna find Snatchers. Have you heard anything about Snatchers in this area? Snatchers? Don't be stupid. Even if there were any around here, you think they'd come after us? I mean, they're not gonna come after you. They're probably gonna hide here, though. There's nobody around here uh, uh, worth going after. Uh, nobody worries, uh, worries about them in these parts. About background. How long have you been living around here? I used to be part of the development team that uh, put together the Alpha 1 network. God damn. So you were a programmer, huh? What happened? Maybe he was an engineer. One day, I took a peek at some secret data in Alpha 1. That's impossible. Security on the system is... It was possible for me. Anywho, I saw enough garbage and scum on people and this society in that uh, in that file to last me a lifetime. Did you make a copy? People, they can sink pretty low, you know. You may be right. Especially uh, Gillian here was, was trying to go after a 14 years old. Why don't you become free too? Join us here! Uh, you ever get sick uh, of it all? Just drop by. Well, I've got to get my pass back before I can become free. Damn. Alpha 1 has data on the development team in, in there. Take a look at it uh, when you get a chance. I mean, if you had a file on the W. I'd love to try and have a look, but you don't have a file. How long do you plan on staying here? Or staying around here? I'm not like the rest of these guys. I want to work. I just can't find any jobs. No ID, right? That's right. Uh, they won't even uh, see uh, me down at the unemployment uh, benefits office. Find me a job, will ya? <laughs> Are you an immigrant? Oh. Definitely not. Maybe we're asking someone else other than the uh, the uh, programmer. As illegal as they come, I heard all these uh, great stories about the place. Had a lot of dreams. Now look at me. Damn, that sucks. What about you? Me? I just cut loose uh, on my own, you know? I just couldn't take any more of anything. My family, my job. I was sick of it all. Here, I feel like I've gone back to my childhood. Um, to my childhood. It's great! Every morning when I wake up, I can actually decide what I want to do. Doesn't seem fun. Where are you gonna... Probably gonna have to afford things. No schedules, man. Every day is a blank slate. A blank slate, eh? Yeah, I really feel alive. 
What about that old guy? Him? He was abandoned by his uh, son and daughter-in-law. Goddamn. Abandoned? Yeah, he was in some uh, some home for old people, but they couldn't afford the payment, so they just uh, dumped him here. It's like a garbage heap uh, for the elderly. That's inhuman. We're taking care of him. You know, sometimes he calls uh, out uh, he calls out uh, his son's name in the middle of the night. Yeah, we know the the video phone number of his son. Oh, give give it to me. Why don't you give them a, a, a call for us? Let's see. The number is 302501. 302501. 302501. Oh, I think I remember. Uh, what you call it? Um, Metal Gear is gonna remember that number. Uh, all right. If I have some time, I'm gonna call him now. Actually, help us out, okay? It's for the old guy's sake. I'm gonna try and talk to him after I finish investigating here. Gillian, I think that's enough. Enough? That's not enough. Alright, let's uh... Let's ask about uh, the drugs. Are drugs available in this area? Yeah, but they're way too pricey for us to buy. There are a few buyers in the neighborhood. Happens all the time around here. Hmm. We can search for Ivan. Uh, we can move. We can move where? Ah, uh, move back. Uh, let me try and uh, actually contact uh, the old man's uh, son. It was uh, 302501. 302501. No video available. Hello? <clears throat> this is Investigator Seed. Investigator? It's about your father. He wants to come home. If you leave him where he is, I don't think he'll be around much longer. He's not gonna answer? Are you listening to what I'm saying? Uh, yes. This is your own father I'm, I'm talking about. Is he? Is he doing alright? No, he's not. As a matter of fact, he looks ill. Is that... is that so? I'm sure you two must have had uh, some problems, but he's still your father, right? Very interesting. Thank you for taking the trouble uh, of informing me of this situation, Investigator. Despite how poorly you've uh, treated him, your father still calls, uh, calls out your name uh, every day. Really? Pop does that? Forgive me, Pop. Please forgive me. I mean, you can come back and get him. Where? Where is he? He is in the South uh, Etayado area of the SN district. Go and take him home. So we're in the South, not the North. Okay. Yes, I will. I'm leaving right now. I can't thank you enough. Thank me by taking good care of your dad this time. I wonder if we can actually uh, call him back and check on his father. You did a good thing, Gillian. Well, I guess. Let me try and uh, contact him again. Uh, yeah. Oh, one. He's not gonna answer? There's no answer. We probably shouldn't get involved any further with them. I'm... Um, I'm gonna try and... 
con I'm gonna try and contact uh, him later on. Maybe it's gonna... Maybe we're gonna find something uh, later. Something, uh, things are gonna progress. It might be uh, a little bit interesting. Alright, let's search for Ivan. Or, I can show them uh, both the photo and the mask. Gibson's. Photograph? Wow, I haven't seen one of the, those in ages. Uh, you're not gonna... I guess, well, I guess they didn't recognize uh, Gibson. Montage photo? Do you know this man? Hmm. That's the idiot, Ivan. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's the fool himself! Now, they recognize Ivan. I guess. Can we ask about Ivan and get information? Where does Ivan live? He's in apartment 301 of this uh, building. That's the kid with that weird uh, board thing, right? You mean the guy who's into sky... Uh, into sky, don't you? Skyboarding. I hear he's always uh, surfing. Into sky? Maybe he's talking about liquid sky. Oh, that guy, huh? I'm not sure I understand what uh, you're talking about. That was a... But, uh, that was a weird reaction from Metal. Seems to have to come uh, into some um, money lately. Oh. Interesting. I've never been able to figure him out. Interesting. I don't think Ray there recognizes Gibson. I don't know. I've troubled with my own name these days. <laughs> uh... Ah, now we have access to... Uh... To Ivan Apartments, instead of actually searching for him. Alright. Alright, viewers, let's go ahead and continue uh, on going to Ivan's uh, apartment in room 301. Alright, let's head for apartment 301. Third floor, eh? Well, he uh, won't be able to escape the, out of the window. <sighs> Didn't they say that he is... Uh, he has an an airboard or something. We're gonna eat our words, right? We're at the door to apartment 301. God damn. We can see uh we can see uh Middle Gear's butthole. <laughs> the plate. It says apartment 301, Ivan Rodriguez. Who is he paying? Is he renting this uh from Someone? Like, why does it actually... Why would you put your name outside like that? Outside of your apartment. Especially in a run-down area like that. Investigate the door. It's an old-style door with a small uh, peephole viewer installed. So he's gonna recognize us. If someone is watching from the inside, we should be able to see his eye. Look around the area. Yeah, b uh, peepholes are uh, a little bit weird, by the way, viewers. <laughs> like the uh, the fact that you can actually see what's uh, what's inside. You cannot see it clearly, but it, you you can definitely see if someone's uh, looking at it or not. There is an electric meter. It appears to be for this apartment. There's a small window. To the side of the door. Oh, we can uh, look at, at them. Okay. Both apartments on either side appear to be abandoned. Uh, the meter definitely it's uh, in usage. So someone is actually if it if it actually still run uh, if it's still like rotating that means that someone is. Someone's uh, still in there. It's an old-style electric meter. The amount of electricity used is displayed visually by a counter and wheel mechanism. It 
it's an electric meter. Since uh, we are outside of any municipal data administration district, it would appear that the electric company has to bill individual users manually. You know, like normally? <laughs> That's how it how things work? Usually? Uh, I used to live in... Um, like in an apartment building that, uh, of course, I get billed for the uh, electricity. Uh, every, uh, every month, but I don't get billed for, uh, uh they didn't bill me for, uh, water utilities uh, at all. Like, the, it's, uh, like, it's actually uh, from, uh, from construction, like, from, uh, from contract uh, utility, I pay, uh, I pay my uh, we, when I used to live uh, in these in that apartment. I used to live alone, of course. They didn't ask me for uh, for uh, for water. Like it's a, it's a one time payment, which is uh, I don't remember how much was it, but it wasn't that much. Uh, I think. A few people in in the building, like it's it's a bad idea, by the way, because I think a few people in the building that I uh, that I used to be in, they just you know they didn't care if they had uh, their water running or whatnot, <laughs> which is uh, you know it's still a waste of uh, water, which uh, I'm against, but uh, it's still a bad idea. It's definitely a, a bad idea. 